explain to them that we've only been over there about six or seven years. Come on, give us a damn break. You know, we've got 300,000 Iraqi troops trained, the last I heard. We've got more now. But I try to explain to them that if you stop and think about it, the United States Marine Corps, up until just recently, was only about 175,000 strong. So basically, we have trained two United States Marine Corps as far as the Iraqi military goes. And I also try to explain that, you know, you just can't wave your magic goddamn wand and get a master chief. You can't just... You can't just miracle a sergeant major. It takes the Marine Corps and the Navy and the Army years and years to train these people and nurture them and, and, and bring them along to the point where their leadership capabilities are adequate to the point where they can make sergeant major or first sergeant or master sergeant or chief or master chief. If you just can't overnight say, okay, you, you, and you are master chief, and you guys there, your sergeant majors, now take these Iraqi troops out there and get them killed, because that's exactly what would happen. General, colonel, you know, it takes, it takes 20, 30 years to, to get leadership, to train these people how to lead men, and they evolve into it. It's not something that you teach, it's something that you evolve into. So I explain that to them. I also, I like to explain to them that, that if we left, what, Obama seems to want to jerk everybody out of here. And I try to explain to everybody that I know, all the liberals that I know, that I don't have problems with Democrats. I have trouble with the hardcore, deep left crazies that we have to deal with. And we got the other end. I'm an independent. I'm in the middle. And we got the other end, which is the extreme conservatives, which they're just as bad. But I've been here and they want to jerk us out of Iraq. Well, if we left Iraq today, there would be a huge slaughter of Iraqi people. Everybody that's even come into contact with any American would be immediately murdered, and their families would also be taken right along with them, and it would be a bloodbath over here. So what we have to do is we have to stay here, we have to complete the mission, we have to finish the damn job that we started, and when everything is right, then we'll pull our, our troops out gradually, we, you guys will all come home, and the Iraqi troops will gradually take over the, the security of this country, and we'll have a free society right in the middle of all of these, all of these uh, countries over here that aren't free. And it won't take long if freedom's pretty infectious. It won't take long before those other countries say, wait a goddamn minute here. How come I got to submit this request to the government when I go to want to go visit my mom in the next town? That shit sucks. Well, let's just overthrow this goddamn government and get with the program. Look, look at Iraq. But I think this is going to be a model country for every other country in the Middle East. And you guys are doing the job. You're making it happen. And I don't know too many people that are not proud of the fact that they're here doing what we're doing. Because we do realize, and we're hands-on, and we do realize how important the job at hand is. This is an important mission that we're on. And you guys are succeeding big guys, and I'm proud of you, and it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. Everybody tells me thank you. Thank you for coming over. Bullshit, this is just as much for my benefit as it is for you. You know, I get what you people motivate me for Christ's sake. So every time I need a little motivation, I jump on a damn airplane and come to Iraq and get motivated by you people. <laughs>